What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna do a little vlog. We're gonna we're gonna just hang out a little bit in the kitchen. And if you if you somehow ended up here by mistake, I uh, I ask maybe just give it a give it a chance here, um, and maybe subscribe. You know, with the channel's nothing without you. We need we need as many people as possible. So to make this channel possible, we need people to watch and we need subscribers. So today we're shooting this vlog on the Canon EOS M50. Uh, I did a little boxing. Not too long ago, so we took a take a quick look. Uh, today we're just going to kind of take a little closer look at it because we're going to kind of go over what I want to do today is kind of go over the things that I've been using on my channel so far and what I'm uh, what I've upgraded to, why I've done upgraded things that I'm still using that I think really good. So, you know, for instance, right now I'm using this power device mic. It's right here. It's just a little lapel mic, but I think you know it's you know it's really cheap on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description a little below but you know for for the price this thing's actually pretty good but the you know the the camera mic is not you know it's not too bad either though we i guess we could compare the two if i just cannot pull this over so let me unplug all right so what you're hearing right now is just the camera mic uh it's, it's probably going to be quiet uh, i have the, the dvs turned down a little bit for this lapel mic so it's not so cracky uh, echoey it's not so loud uh so I, it, it's still probably you know the camera mic sounds good and then when you're you know have the camera closer to you and you're doing it you know more of like a selfie vlog video type deal. The mic does really well, but you know, for walking around, uh, I've, I've worked at this thing, you know, it's not wireless, so that's a bummer, but you know, as long as you don't stray off and hit the camera over, it's not too bad. So. Okay, so we should be back on this guy right here. So the lapel mic, you know, I, I, I recommend buying it, you know, the power device 3.5, description below, it'll be the Amazon link to it. Uh, also, another th cool thing about this camera is that, you know, normally when you get a camera like this, you're gonna need to get, you know, a, a tire a wireless control but you know this camera does have Wi-Fi so I don't know if we can see my phone there so you got all the controls that you need uh, you can you know change the autofocus it's it's really delayed but because it's Wi-Fi but you know for you know just connecting to your phone to control your camera it's pretty awesome uh, it helps you start stop videos like if you're doing like this where you have the camera on a tripod you can hit the buttons over here you don't have to walk back and forth so that's cool Another mic I've used for, you know, my videos when I'm playing, you know, games or sometimes I'll hook this up if I'm sitting in the other room is this uh, Neewer NW700. So this mic also works with that camera uh, compared to the two earlier. I don't think, I guess it is still hooked up. So we can plug it in there. You can see what it sounds like compared to this one. So uh, right now we're on the lapel mic. Uh, I'll unplug in a minute here. We'll hear what uh, this guy sounds like compared to lapel mic uh, the power supply is down here so one uh, second okay so now we uh we are on the nw700 so this is going you know down to the power supply into the camera uh so we'll see you can just see how it compares when versus the lapel mic this is the newer nw700 uh, i did a review and an unboxing of this where i compared it to my HyperX headset you know so if you want to take a look at how it compares to a headset versus a condenser mic or you want to hear how it sounds compared to you know this little lapel mic uh, just take a listen. What do you think? And then that, all that, you know. Keep in mind, the, the the mic that's on the camera is still pretty good for what it for what it is. Okay, we're back on the lapel. Uh, I will say though, good mic. But the next thing I might get is a a wireless transmitter receiver because you know this isn't bad. But if I go run over there, uh, we're gonna have a bad time. But uh, what else have I been doing? So. I guess we can talk about lights. So you can find uh, what I'm using for lights. Obviously, I got the under cabinet lighting that I have in uh, this video that I did uh, not too long ago. If I put that in, that's all just DIY stuff. Easy peasy, looks good. But the lights for the the lights for my camera. So if you're gonna shoot video, regardless if you're using a camera phone. Um, any DSLR you might have, an M50. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you're using a camera, the, one of the biggest things you need to do is make sure you got some light. Because if you don't have light, you're going to have grainy videos and it's going to make you sad. So uh, if you want to be able to, you can buy, you know, softbox lights like these. I have uh, the stands that these, I'll, I'll show you this in a minute. I'm pointing at it now, but I'll show you in a minute, I promise. So the stands that I'm using, you can get on Amazon relatively cheap. I'll also link that below with this her mic. I'll also link this the knee were, and I'll link the camera in case you want to buy the camera on Amazon. I bought mine at Best Buy, but the prices, you know, I found were pretty much the same. Also, Best Buy will match Amazon at select locations as long as it's sold by Amazon, which is, is weird because 
if it's sold on Amazon by another company like Jimmy's Cameras, they'll be like, no, we, we're not matching that. But if it's sold by Amazon on Amazon, then they'll match it. Back to it. You need, you need some lights if you're going to shoot video. So what I did is you can buy softbox lights on Amazon uh, with stands. Uh, as you can tell, I use Amazon a lot. But you can buy lights on Amazon with stands or you can do what I did. Uh, make some lights and I was just not even using stands. I was just kind of setting them nearby where I needed them to be. Uh, but then I found these stands on Amazon for pretty cheap and I'll link those below in case you need to get yourself some. Uh, but let's, I'll just show you what, what, I'm, what, I'm, what we're working with here. If I can get this out, knocking over Mr. Camera. All right, so you, let's bring it down. Oh God. So this is a, is it in there yet? I can't see. Oh yeah, remember that thing I told you about the camera having the input for the mic right by the screen? That's the only bummer about that. But other than that, it's fine. Good camera. Goofy mic input place. Bad design. But other than that, great. Put this down so you can see it. I also made this in a DIY project that you can check out uh, somewhere around here. There's going to be like a little tag or something to click on. You can check out uh, how to make these or you can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them with stands. You can buy them without stands. You can just buy stands and make this out of a box. If you got a box like I did. Uh, but <clears throat> all this really is is it's a cardboard box. Uh, this is the diffuser I'm using is a, it's going to be hard to find, but it's a trash bag. So if you have a white trash bag, works great. Uh, tape, also tough to find. Uh, and then just line the inside with some aluminum. Check it out. You can make it yourself. It does, you know, I've been using all my videos. It does a really good job. Then also this here, you know, light. Uh, just a work light that I got from Home Depot. It's made out of plastic. Does a great job. LED bulb and boom, you got yourself a softbox light. Uh, and coincidentally, these uh, stands... They fit great on this here clamp thing. So the clamp has enough space that it just kind of boop, clacks right in there. So we'll put that back over here. Let's talk about what I was using before I uh, bought the M50. Uh, I have to go get it. The app, I don't know. Uh oh, here comes my dog. Oh boy. In and out through the stands. He's, he's a daredevil. All right, so down there in the bottom, right there, almost center screen, you see those lines it's giving you left and right. It's letting you know that what you're using for sound recording is working. So another great deal on the camera app deal. So you don't ever, oh God, my, do my dog's, he's insane. So what I was using before I bought the camera was, uh, this is a DJI Phantom 4. I didn't buy, I didn't buy the drone to, I didn't make the channel and be like, oh, I need a camera, I'll buy a drone. No, I just had the drone and I was like, oh, dude, that takes camera, that takes video. So I'll use that to, you know, shoot some YouTube videos rather than buy a camera for 800 and something dollars. But uh, uh, it shoots 4K video, so that's good too. Also, the, so the big problem is that it has an infinite focus, so it doesn't take really good, well, it doesn't take close, it doesn't take close video at all. It doesn't, it's not like it doesn't take good, it just doesn't. You can't, if you want to get close to like this here bowl of fruit, uh, you could see it great from here and back to infinity but if you want to get up to like here or so uh, it's all blurry so that's a problem if you want to shoot like tech reviews and do closes ups of computers and parts like that uh, another problem is that drones don't record sound uh, when you fly a drone if it had sound all you'd hear was propellers so uh, not a problem you can you know what I was doing was using you know my knee or mic I would set that mic up set the drone up on a stand I just happened to have like a shelf that was perfect for it and I would record sound on my computer and then record video on the drone. And then in editing, I would, you know, link them together. And the way I did it is basically start the camera with a, a board that says, hey, I'm doing this and this is take whatever. And then start the recording and then say that to the mic and then clap your hands. Look for the spike in audio and then link the video of your hands clapping with the spike of the sound and boom, you can edit together. It's not hard. It just takes a long time. It doesn't take a long time. It just takes longer than if you were just to record video and sound at the same time. So this worked great for, you know, taking 4K video at just on a stand, but anything up close didn't work and then not having sound was a bummer. So that's what ended up buying this. Also, that takes better video. Okay, so the dog's back. He's hanging out there, so I'm sure you'll be... You gonna cause problems? What are you gonna do? What are you looking for? Looking to knock something over? Okay, well, he's off. Uh, so the camera does take 4K video. Uh, right now it's set to 1080p. I just another thing you can check on the app. So right now it's set to uh, 1080p at 60 frames a second. 
Um, the only reason to set that is because it gives you a wider field of view. So when you take 4K, what it does is it's going to crop the image. It's, it's going to look zoomed in uh, because the camera is not using the whole entire sensor to take the image like it is for 1080p. Uh, it's a cropped image, so it's only using 3840 by 2160. Um, you know, it's recording the it's recording 4K at, a, at exactly 4K, so it gives you like a, a cropped image. I guess we can we can set it to 4K so you can guys see what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't think I can do it from my phone here. Just, I didn't move or do anything. I hit pause on my phone and change resolution, hit play again, and you can see that it's we're we're much more zoomed in. That's because now it's recording at 3840 by 2160, so the image is cropped in. It's not using an entire sensor. It's just using that little portion to get the 4K image. So, you know, it, it works and it does, I mean, it does what it says. It records 4K. Okay, we're back at 1080p. So what? So we did, I showed you what I was using before about the camera. Uh, I showed you the Neewer, big fan. Uh, lapel mic, big fan. Uh, M50 Canon, big fan as well. You, get a, get, you could get a wide angle lens and shoot 4K and it'd give you a better field of view, but you know, it's up to you. You might like the zoomed in thing. Also, I found that uh, when you're shooting in 4K, the autofocus uh, doesn't do as good a job. Still does a great job, but compared to when you're in 1080p mode, uh, it, it has a harder time finding finding focus or it loses it at times compared to 1080p. So that's another reason I normally shoot in 1080 is the autofocus is pretty good. So, I mean, if you can get out of here anywhere, hold my phone up close, I got the, you can see that it should focus right in on it and where everything's blurred out in the back and then as soon as I drop it, it should immediately go to my face and focus me up. So let's see how fast it is. So the big thing about this channel is I wanted to show everybody that is thinking about making a YouTube channel what actually you can expect from making one. So uh, if you go back and look at my videos and you see oldest and newest, it's going to say for the first one I updated about a month ago. And I said uh, in my first video that about every month or two months, you know, I'd, I'm just starting to channel out. We don't have much going on. so. You know, maybe every month we won't make a video like this. Uh, I made it this month because a lot of things have changed. Uh, things I'm using, I just wanted to share with everybody. But going forward, you know, maybe not next month, maybe not the next ever. But eventually, when you know we get another milestone, we get to so many subscribers. Uh, if you made it through the video this far, consider hanging around. Uh, subscribe; it'll help everybody out. And we'll, the more people we get subscribed, uh, the better content we can bring, and the more info I can bring to you guys on. Uh, exactly what goes into getting a channel from zero to uh, more than zero right now we're at eight that's it's eight times better but it's not a million but that's where we want to head to so we'll go take a look at the old becoming youtube channel and see exactly what uh, is going on uh spoiler not much but hey it's better than it was and it's 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 kind of it's fun so it's another big thing you need to know is if you're making if you want to make a channel uh just do it for something to do do it as a hobby do it because it's fun um, don't do it because you think you're going to make a channel and tomorrow be uh, super rich. Has I'm unable to answer your question. Try again later. No. Gear S3, great watch. Does that every now and then for some reason. Super weird. But anyway, uh, don't just make a channel because you think that, hey, I'll make a channel this week and then next month I'll be super rich. Uh, no, not going to happen. Make a channel because you... You like tech stuff, or you like reviewing stuff, or you like just making videos of playing games. I mean, what do you got to lose? If you, if you want to make a channel, go ahead and go. Uh, if you want to see what it's like for somebody that's made a brand new channel, well then hit subscribe and we'll figure it out together. It's going to be, we're going to do something. And just use the stuff that you got around. If you have a mic already that you use for recording video games, uh, set it up nearby and use it as a mic to record unboxings. If you have a drone that you like to fly around, well... You don't have sound on it, but you can set it up and make a video that has decent, decent video quality and just find a mic that you can sync it up. And like I said, we'll take everything in the room I normally go to, record videos, and we'll look at the channel and see what's going on. Let's do this. Here. Cooper. Cooper. Say hi. Cooper. Oh, you're not focused. There you are. He's pretty, uh, pretty into that there bone he's got there. Alright, so, wow, ooh, folks, okay. so this is pretty low light, but uh, here's the old first time. Uh, here's my cool table with uh, some nice festive Easter stuff on it. Holding on, I 
All right, so we're back. Uh, I left my, I left a pretty, uh, left the pretty tablecloth on because uh, why not? Uh, we're back in the room we're normally at. Camera set up. So let's take a look at the channel and see how it's going. Okay, so here we are on the home page. Uh, we'll go check out and see what the channel's up to. Oh, look at that, eight subscribers. That's better than zero. All right, so first the thing shows is uh, the most your your latest video. So this is the newest one I've placed up there the uh, unboxing deal with the Canon M50 uh, an overclocking video I did and the video where I showed the difference between my old PC from 2012 with a 580 and my new one with a 1080 uh, since building computer is ridiculous if you have something that's older um, go check that out and you can see how they compare 2012 style to 2017 but uh, you should really just try to make what you got last uh, this gives you your total watch time, so uh, 551 minutes have been watched on my channel, 210 total views, uh, two subscribers in the last 28 days, all this stuff is doing. So uh, here it is, everybody's big deal, the big the big shabooski, how much revenue have we earned? Uh, zero. Uh, and that is because monetization. So here it is, uh, get reviewed after 4,000 hours watched in the previous 12 months and 1,000 subs. I forgot about this little detail. So we need to get 4,000 hours watched in a year and we need to get 1,000 people that want to hang out. So right now we're at eight. We need to get 1,000 and then we can start seeing how the monetization works. So that should be fun. But right now, uh, if you make a channel, just do it for fun. Find something you like to do and just put it out there. See if anybody else wants to hang out and enjoys what you're doing. And as long as you're having fun, that's all it really matters, so that's that. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight on this here Friday. What, what, what is the date? 4 6. It's getting a little late, about 11 o'clock, but it's Saturday. It's a little vlog. Uh, things change. We hit, maybe we hit 1,000 tomorrow. And then when somebody just, we just start getting all those hours watched, we'll check out the monetization thing, see how it works. But for now, we're just going to keep on doing what we're doing, and that's the most important thing is if you're going to make videos, make sure you just have a good time doing it, and it really, other than that, it doesn't really matter. Hey, but if you hung out this long, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and we'll, uh, we'll go on this little journey together and see what it's all about. Till next time, next video, we'll see you again.